Hello there, dear friends. Here we are doing this Facebook Live all over again. So dear LHM community, I am so grateful to be here with you. It appears that I just did a Facebook Live without my microphone on. So if you can hear me, I'd love to see anybody just pop in here and say hello if you're here with me live. Um, but so I'm just going to do it all over again. Um, the the premise of what I want to share with you today is all about tapping into the energy of the year that you've just come through. The year of 2018 is starting to wrap up energetically and we can start to feel the energies of 2019. So 2018 from a numerology point of view is an 11 year and 11 is all about uh, illumination. It's a master number. It's illumination. It's creating that connection between our, us and our higher self. But we also had the energy of a two. Uh, two is about cooperation and collaboration. And so manifesting and doing things in 2018 was very much about we had to do our part and then we need to relax back into allowing the universe to, to co-create. So this is a it was like illumined co-creation. And so when I talk about the idea of having a one word theme, it's kind of like a, a GPS, an inner compass to help you make decisions, to help you make choices, to help you recognize when you're doing your part and you're receiving back from the universe, right? So uh, I've been doing these I, this sort of one word theme for many years, uh, probably about five or six years at least. Um, my theme for 2018 was flourish. There's a lot of different ways that we can get into this energy about choosing what's the best word. And so I encourage you to do things like just watch. You could set the intention that it's going to come to you. It's going to show up. It's going to present itself. My usual way, way is to meditate and, and like we, we've got about a month and a half to wrap up 2018. And so at this time of year, my attention starts to, to go there of what's, what's coming up for next year and looking at how, how did I do, like what, is, there, is there a few more projects or a few more intentions or pieces that I want to wrap up before I let this energy go. So you can ask yourself things like, what do I want to experience more of? So this is one of the techniques, is write down all of the things that you want to experience more of. Do you want more calmness, more kindness, more connection, more being of service, those kind of things, and see, is there a theme? You can also write down, what do you want to experience less of? Do you want to experience less worries, less sadness, less pain? And then when you do that, then you look at what's the opposite, right? So if you want less worry, what does less worry mean for you? And that can actually start to give you some insight into what is the theme. Because we are powerful creators. And in this, this technique that I'm sharing with you, and I've actually put together a guide in the description for this, this uh, presentation, there's a, a link for you to sign up a guide that I put together to help you really go into this this idea that I'm sharing with you and make it your own. Like come up with this, these ideas of how best to, you know, get your own inner guidance. And so you can do these ideas, like I said, about the what you want to experience more of. That's an actually a really good one to align with your life purpose. Also, what do you want to experience more of is, a, is an excellent way of steering into getting clear on, on what 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 you want to experience more of is always also what you want people to who interact with you to experience, right? So it's like if if I um if I want to have an uh, more experience of um, spirituality, then I want people to have that connection or feeling when they're in my space. So that is actually a really good guidance for me. Um, the other thing that you can do too, though, is is you can use. Uh, an oracle card deck. Pick your favorite oracle card. The one I, I really like using is this um, Dorian Virtues Angel Cards. And so you could, you know, do a like write brain dump, let everything go that's that's bothering you and write it all down and then put your attention on what theme, what, what do I want to create in this upcoming new year and shuffle the cards and see what comes up and see does that connect 
You can also do that as to what is it I'm letting go for, for uh, the old year and then inviting in. And so um, actually this is a good one to come up. This is miracles. Hey, miracles could be a, a wonderful one word theme. Um, so the one word theme idea too is that it's going to help you make your, your um, goals, right? So intentions come first because that's the that's sort of the overriding why, if you like, and then you can get into it to more uh, goal focused. The other part that I, I was uh, going to share with you is that I have my own deck of cards that I developed. These are called, this is called the letting go guidance system. And so sometimes in order to get clear on what we do want, we have to, you know, dig through the layers of what's in our way. And so that's something like this is more of a, um, a process of what do I need to let go of? And I do a, on a presentation every Monday on my own page, uh, doing that with, with you, like what, what can we focus on letting go of? And this is like letting go of layers of an onion so that you get actually clear on what's underneath. And so um, what we need to let go of, I'll put that in your pet camera there, is, is judgmental thoughts. So see sometimes, because that's the other part about choosing a one word theme for yourself is, is it yours? So you want to, it, this is why I'm making this presentation now. And this is why I do this at this time of year, because you want to make sure that it's really your guidance. And it's not that you're coming from, from it, uh, from an aspect of you're trying to keep somebody else happy, or you're trying to prove something that's maybe not yours. So it's really about coming into your wisdom, your authority, um, and not because you should. There's no shoulds in this. And so, like I said, in that guide that I put together that I, I'd really love you for you to, to uh, sign up for, um, I'm very grateful to be able to present this to you. And I'm so, so grateful to Catherine for letting me pop in here and share this with you. But if you have any questions, if you're, if you're here live, I'd love, love you to say hi here. Um, uh, but if not, and if you have any questions about what I'm what I'm suggesting here, just pop them in the, the comments and I'll be sure and come back and, and answer them. Um, but like I say, please do download that that guide because this is this is the so it's like three things that I've I've suggested about this idea of setting a theme. Um, the other part about the 2019. So I said that that the uh, 2018 energy was was 11 slash two. The energy of 2019 is, is a three. Two plus zero plus one plus nine is a three. So this is really auspicious times that we're stepping into because threes are about celebration, about uh, manifesting, and also about the Trinity. So it's the mind, body, soul. This is what we're going to take with us through 2019 is everything's going to be coming together in that sort of triality, if you like. So there's another aspect to, that you want to, to maybe bring into what is your one word theme. Um, and so I hope this serves you. So, uh, or like I said, I'm just gonna wrap that up was the, the three ways. One is just to meditate and say what, what comes. And that's how, how I've already picked my theme for 2019. And it just literally landed in in a meditation. It was just it was it, it, it came through to me. So the, the other part is for you to get clear on how do you receive your messages. I'm kind of a, a clear audience, so I will have words land in me or thoughts like that. But some people it's um, clairvoyant. You might you might see a picture or an image of something, uh, whereas other people are clear cognizant. So it's just you kind of you just know or clear sentience, you just have a gut feeling or a feeling of something. So check in to see what's your favorite way, what's your best way of receiving your own inner wisdom, and then set that request from your own higher self, your guides, your the, the universe, show you what is your word. So you can do it that way. The other way is to get more clear on, you know, sitting down and writing down all of the things, what do I want to experience more of? And, and see, is there a theme? If you, you know, listing down all the things that you want to experience more of. Then the other, the flip side of that is what do you want to experience less of? And you can reframe that, you know, so if the things that you want to experience less of, if you want to experience less worry or less concern, then what is it that you would like to experience of in, in its place? So that's the second 
uh, methodology of, of choosing that one word theme. And then the third one is to use Oracle cards or use a system like I'm, I was showing you with my letting go cards is in order to get the clarity, what do I have to let go of? Right, because sometimes we actually miss our own inner inner wisdom because we've got too much of the inner critic and or the, the saboteur voices going. So that's what I'm talking about when I'm talking about letting something go. So I really hope this helps you. Um, I'd love to hear what your one word theme is or what once you work through this this information. And and if and I, I do hope that this inspires you to take a pause review what your 2018 was and start looking forward to creating an amazing sacred success in 2019. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you again to Catherine and my wonderful LHAM people here. I'm so grateful to be a part of this group. Thank you for watching. Much love to you.